LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, liftoff conditions looking pretty good. ESTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Liftoff. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten. Nine. Eight. Side booster ignition. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Liftoff. And liftoff of the 22nd SpaceX cargo resupply mission, bringing new solar arrays to the International Space Station. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Seconds into flight, awesome shot looking Power back telemetry at nominal. Uh, the Cape, or Falcon 9, has launched. We're coming up on the next major milestone, that's the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure. That's when the Falcon stresses on the vehicle will be the highest. Preparation for maximum aerodynamic pressure. We throttle down those Merlin 1D engines now that we're through that point. We'll continue to we'll throttle back up and continue on to the next of our sequence of events. We have several happening in rapid succession. That'll be main engine cutoff followed by a stage separation. Then we'll have a first stage flip maneuver, second engine start number one. Now, main engine cutoff, or MECO, that's where all nine of the Merlin 1D engines on the first stage will shut down. Execute. That's followed shortly after by stage separation, when both the first and back second is stages chilling. will separate. From there, the first stage will flip to prepare itself for entry. A few seconds later, the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will ignite. And Miko. Stage separation confirmed. In back ignition. So. So successful, Merlin vacuum engine startup. Here's a shot of the second stage Merlin vacuum nozzle. You can see it's starting to heat up as we begin this burn. The second stage will continue to burn here for several minutes until about the T plus eight minute mark. If you're just joining us, welcome. If you're watching a live webcast for the 22nd commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station for NASA. It will be coming up on a second engine cutoff about 30, uh, excuse me, under 30 seconds from now. It's been burning that whole time since stage separation to bring the 7,000 pounds of cargo into the initial orbit. And we are flying a cargo configuration of our new Dragon spacecraft. On the right-hand side of your screen is the second stage, which is carrying the Dragon spacecraft into orbit. On the left-hand side of your screen, you can see Falcon 9's oh, first stage with the grid fins extending and is making its way back to our drone ship. They expect an off the See go. Shutdown of the second stage engine from here. We'll be looking at telemetry, make sure we are in the intended orbit. Nominal orbit insertion. Fantastic. You can see the grid fins that are extended on the left-hand side of your screen. We use those for atmospheric control. They help steer the Falcon 9 to make sure we make our way back to that drone ship as we get into the thicker parts of the Earth's atmosphere. And you'll occasionally see periodic uh, bursts of a white gas uh, like that. That's our attitude control system giving us little corrections to our attitude. The next major event coming up here for the first stage is entry burn. Three of the Merlin 1D engines will ignite. 
Stage one FTS is saved. Trajectory nominal. Stage one entry burn startup. So with that, three Merlin 1D engines on the first stage igniting to reduce the vehicle's velocity. You can see that on the bottom left corner of your scene screen. So from here, the grid fins will continue to take the first stage towards our drone ship stationed out in the Atlantic Ocean. This burn expected stage to last one about entry burn shut down. And uh, if you're just joining us, welcome. On your screen is a live view of Falcon 9's first stage on the left. Amazing shots stage of the first stage burn, during reentry. Once we get closer to the drone ship, we will deploy our four symmetric landing legs around the base of the first stage for hopefully a nice soft touchdown on that drone ship. You can see a shot of that on the right-hand side of your screen. Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage one landing leg deploy. Picture perfect landing of that Falcon 9 for the first one stage. Landing. First landing for this first stage, 86 successful recovery overall for SpaceX. Fantastic. Now coming up shortly, second stage is not done. So with that, the second stage has just one major task left. It is commanding separation. If uh, you followed our first version of Dragon, you'd know that uh, it had deployable solar arrays. This version of Dragon has conformal solar arrays on the body of the spacecraft. So those are mounted along the exterior panel of the trunk that we're looking into right now. Those provide power for the spacecraft as it makes its way to the space station. Dragon separation confirmed. And uh, that's gonna complete my coverage here from Hawthorne, but why don't we check in with Courtney at the Johnson Space Center in Houston. Courtney? Thanks, Shiva. Again, just standing by for that nose clone deploy. The nose cone deploy uncovers the four forward bulkhead thrusters, which Dragon will use for its major burn maneuvers coming up. Again, standing by for confirmation of nose cone deploy and this nose cone deploy will uncover those four bulkhead thrusters, and that's what Dragon will use for its major burns coming up throughout the next day to catch up with the space station before docking. Acquisition signal, Gunhilly. And the nose cone is opening. And nose cone deploy confirmed. And with nose cone deploy now confirmed, now joining me on the phone is manager of the International Space Station Office for Systems Engineering and Integration, Jeff Arend. Jeff, one major component in Dragon's trunk today is the first set of IROSA solar arrays. Can you tell us the importance of augmenting the station's power supply through these IROSA spacewalks later this month? 